Hi, I'm Bill Lampton, the biz communication guy. I help speakers become superlative presenters. Many of the speech coaching clients that I have worked with who had dodged speaking engagements before, once they have built up their confidence and once they know the best system for preparing and delivering their messages, then not only do they quit dodging speaking opportunities, they seek them out. I've seen that happen many times. I would love to work with you as your speech coach. Additionally, as the biz communication guy, I work with corporations to help them overcome their communication barriers and build bridges to understanding instead. And so they can improve their management, their leadership, their sales, their customer service, and definitely their profits. Today, in giving a tip about corporate advice, I'm thinking about my first few months as a professional fundraiser in a previous career of mine. When it came time for the fiscal year deadline for that charitable organization, it was June 30, there were a good number of people who, because of the work of our staff and our trustees, had made pledges to the organization with the intent of making their gift within the fiscal year, which, again, ended on June 30. Well, I wondered, would these people be offended if we reminded them through letters and through phone calls? And I discovered very quickly that instead of being offended or feeling like they were being pressured, practically everybody I contacted thanked me and said, gosh, you know, I've got so many things going on that I would have forgotten that. So I really appreciate it. Now, applying this to your company, sometimes you wonder, is it okay to just tell people once and let it go and assume they've got it? That may have been true and acceptable in simpler times. However, now with the abundance of messages that everybody who works with us gets, many of them from us, we cannot really expect that one message will do it. So my suggestion, suggestion today is that we remember to remind. Remember to remind people when their proposed budget submission is due. Remind them when their next meeting will be. Remind them of the appointment that they're supposed to keep with an important person. Remind them of the new regulations. Remind them of how they can complete their forms to get their health insurance. Will they be offended here again? No. If you do this in moderation, with good judgment, and with good timing, people your people will love the fact that you have reminded them. Just like my giving prospects, they'll respond, oh my gosh, I had forgotten that. Yes, it's supposed to be on my calendar, but I, I haven't even had a chance to look at my calendar today. So remember to remind people tactfully, regularly, and clearly. They'll appreciate that. And speaking of reminders, I have mentioned to you before the publication of my new book about stage fright, 25 Ways to Control Your Stage Fright and Become a Highly Confident Speaker. Yes, I've mentioned that before, but I'm reminding you of that again, because I know that this is a book that will benefit you tremendously, so that any fears that you have had about facing audiences, you will be in control of that fear and not subject to it. 
I want to thank you very much for being with me, the Biz Communication Guy. Please visit my website, bizcommunicationguy.com. Wishing you all the best and asking you to remember to remind. Thanks for being with me. I'm Bill Lampton.